Assalamualaikum and greetings. Welcome to DIY Woodworking TV and my little workshop. Today, I wanted to add the router inside the table for some other jobs, more jobs to be done. You have watched my video where I put, where I built a router jig, fluid movement, for some of the tasks, which will do very well. I needed the router to be inside the table so I could use the wood push it in and out and do many more different types of jobs with the router bits. I don't like moving the router by hand. So, I did this. I installed the router in my work table that we just built with built-in table saw. Check this out and after that I'll show you a time lapse of how I did it. So, this is the router built in the table now. And if you look inside, if you look under, it sits nice and good. Yes, I'm having some of the uh, issue with the router throwing the dust down here, which is not a big deal. But this side, I can add the dust collector to rain some test cuts. And you can see, beautiful, very nice test cuts. Whenever I need it, I can move the fence and put it this way or this way, depending on how I want to move. If I put the fence this side, I will have to push the wood, feed the wood from that side and if I put the fence here, I will have to feed the wood from this end, which is okay. I can also clamp the fence here and do my job as I want. Actually, it's very, very good. I just had to move the fence a little bit inside. And you can see it's doing a very, very good job. Okay, my test cut is done. And with the dust collector added, obviously it moved a little bit. I have very little dust here, so to say if I have the dust collector added properly, one moment, let me just do the satisfying job again. So, yes, dust collector added properly at this side will actually do a very nice job collecting the dust. Uh, apart from something that does fall down, most of the things that go up will actually be collected by the dust collector. Let's start the non-workshop projects now. 